Yes, children. Good morning. And we will continue with this uh, topic. Last class we have discussed about the sectors of Indian economy. We have been discussing how these sectors have been divided. That is primary, secondary, and tertiary. And based on employment, organized and unorganized. And based on the monarchy, the industries can be classified into private industries and public industries. Now this class we will discuss each one. We will start with the primary sectors. On the basis of the nature of economic activities, there are mainly three sectors, namely primary sector, the secondary sector and the tertiary sector. Sectors based on the nature of economic activities. So all these sectors have been classified. Depend upon the nature of nature of economic activity. For example, see primary sector. So example take agriculture, dairy farming, fishing, mining. This all comes under because the all process by nature. Produced by nature. And secondly, secondary sector. We are being manufacturing, we are producing things by tracing the minerals which we get from the trust. So, industries are the best examples of the secondary sector. And third one is service oriented. For example, see, nurse, a doctor. Doctor is checking the patient, the service. Teacher is teaching. Service, postman is delivering the parts, research parcels, the service. So, all this service oriented comes under the tertiary sector. So, children, this is how the sectors can be classified primary, secondary, and tertiary. Now, the first one. Primary sector depends mainly on the natural resources, but not entirely. Primary sector depends mainly on the natural resources, but not entirely. See, exploiting the natural resources by removing of all the trees, they convert it to the agriculture base. Here, changing the natural resources into primary products. Well, they are cleaning and making. So they can do many cycles like agriculture. It is also known as agriculture and related sector. Primary sector, example see agriculture and related sector. Agriculture, all type of farming can be done. The various examples of primary sectors are dairy farming, mining and quarry, agriculture, fishing, forestry, and logging. Yes. Children, tell me which are the name few examples of primary sector? Name few examples of primary sector. So examples for the primary sector are Agriculture, dairy farming, fishing, forestry, logging, etc. These are all the examples for primary sector. Examples for the primary sector dairy farming, agriculture, fishing, forestry, mining, and quarry. Agriculture, dairy farming, fishing, Forestry, logging, mining, and oil. These are all the best examples for, for primary sector. Mention few examples of primary sector. You few examples of primary sector. Yes, these are all the examples. Dairy farming, mining and oil, agriculture, fishing, and forestry and logging. These are all the Examples for primary sector. Children, clear? 
In the secondary sector, the natural products or raw materials are converted into finished products. In secondary sector, what happens? Here in this sector, chemical and natural products are now becoming simple finished products. Because we have been collecting all the natural products. Okay. And those products will be changed into finishing product. For example, wood we have been collecting from the forest. And the same wood can be converted The same material we are finishing into the chair, the sofa set, or a bench, or a stool. So, the examples for secondary sector is industries. So, you know, industries are producing, industries are manufacturing, okay, into different products. So, here, so the example for secondary industry, secondary sector is industries, manufacturing industries, converts natural products or raw materials into finished products. So, this is the example for secondary sector. Here, the transformation of primary sector goods takes place. It's generally transformed products of the primary sector, yes. Definitely, by taking all the products, we are converted to the finishing goods. That means, all of them, we are changing into finishing goods. For example, minerals, rocks. So, we are being changing. We are doing these materials, we are going to the finishing products done by more industries. So, it is generally transform the products of the primary sector. It includes the manufacturing or industrial sector as well as the construction industry. Yes. Secondary sector includes manufacturing or industrial sectors as well as construction industry. Your know, examples for secondary sector is example for secondary sector you can say manufacturing industries, construction activities are the best examples for secondary sector. Now it is your turn. Fill in the blank. Dash sector is engaged in production of goods by exploiting natural resources. Your options are A. Primary B. Secondary C. Tertiary or D. Service They are telling me children Dash sector is engaged in production of goods by exploiting natural resources. Which is the right answer there you want to The four options one is primary, secondary, tertiary, and service. Yeah. So I think the right answer is primary. The correct answer is A. Primary. Because by exploiting the primary natural resources, we have been producing, we have been doing many activities. The tertiary sector. This sector doesn't produce goods but supports the primary and secondary sector in their production processes. If we take this third sector, that is tertiary sector, it is does not produce any goods. It does not produce goods but supports the production of both primary and secondary sector. Because after producing these goods only, they can transform the goods, products. So that means naturally that the sector has to support the primary and secondary. Children? Yes. So therefore, the sector does not produce any products, any goods, but definitely it supports the primary and secondary sector. It includes some necessary services 
that may not directly help with the production of goods. For example, services of a teacher, doctor, lawyer, etc. If you take this, they are not going to produce anything. Your teacher, doctor, and lawyer. These all three categories all belong to the service we need. Teacher teaches, doctor look after the patient, and lawyer deals with cases. So all these are helping the public. So all the service we need. So it includes some necessary services that may not directly help the personal goods. They are not producing any goods. But directly, eh? but they are helping the public by teaching, by some giving services. There are the examples for technical sector. Tertiary sector is also known as the service sector which includes services like transportation, communication, and banking. Yes, example, children you see here, the directory sector also known as service sector. Because directory sector is, does not produce any goods, but what we do or we use for service, service to the public. So therefore, the directory sector also known as service sector. The examples for the service sector are oh, not only transportation, communication, banking, administration, trading. These are all the best examples for the service sector. Example for territory sector. To so give few examples of territory sector is transportation, communication, banking, and administration. You are the best example for therapy sector. Child, you four examples of therapy sector. Transportation, communication, right? Administration and banking. All the best example for service sector. Or also called as therapy sector. Don't confuse children. You have to be listened very carefully. The last two, directory sector also called as service sector. Why? Give your own answer. So you have to explain this. Because directory sector is not like primary and secondary. The directory sector is not, does not produce any goods and any goods, any raw materials. But it directly supports the primary and secondary. So therefore, Territory sector is called as a service sector. The example for the territory sector are transportation, communication, and banking. Clear? Yes, children, now I hope you understood about. How these sectors has been divided? Types of sectors that is primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary sector always by utilizing the natural resources for the farming activities. Example: agriculture, dairy farming, fishing, and forestry. And those materials can be changed into finishing goods done by the industry. So industry is another fine example for secondary. And third one is tertiary, that is service oriented. Tertiary sector does not produce any goods, but it supports the primary and secondary. Is it clear? Thank you.